You see, the first thing that devil will do, hallelujah, the first thing the devil does with people that have a great uh, 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 um, destiny is to discourage them. You know, discouragement is the opposite of courage. For you to be very, very, to be, to have courage, I mean, encouragement, discouragement is opposite, but that courage is the characteristic of that dis uh, discouragement and encouragement. Amen. Yeah, for you to be courage, be bold, know who you are, know that you are called. Amen. The devil will use people to discourage you. Yes, they are the one always seeing what is wrong, but th their own life is not moving forward. They are the one always seeing uh, what the Holy Spirit have, have said about this person and what the person and this and that and their complainers, complainers. They are there to discourage. And if you don't, eh, sometimes they might not even discourage you with their ways, but their character, how they do. And things that they do. But as a child of God that you know, you know, you know that God, amen, has called you. You don't let anybody that is being possessed by demonic spirits that refuse to be delivered to discourage you. Amen? <laughs> Hallelujah. You see, it is God that has called and you yourself that has been called, God is watching you. He's looking at you. Amen. How far have you seen? How far are you willing to go to please God? Amen. No matter the discouragement, no matter the Bible says be strong. Amen. Be strong and be courageous. Amen. 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 En weet dat als je een grote bestemming hebt, het eerste wat de vijand gaat doen, is, is mensen bereiken om je te ontmoedigen. Mensen die om je heen zijn, die altijd zien wat er verkeerd is. Uh, uh, altijd wat te klagen hebben. Uh, uh, ontmoedigen, maar hun eigen leven gaat niet vooruit. En soms doen ze niet eens alleen met woorden, maar ook met hun karakter. Willen ze je ontmoedigen. Maar weet dat als God je geroepen heeft, dat, dat, dat God naar je kijkt. Hoe ver zie je? Hoe ver ga je om God te behagen? Wees sterk en moedig. En, en, en laat het je niet beïnvloeden wat mensen over je denken. Wat ze zeggen. Amen. Amen. Yes, be strong. Be strong, the Bible said. Amen. Be strong. Hallelujah. Be strong. You see, when I started, uh, before I even started uh, preaching the gospel, the devil was telling me, you can't speak the language, you can't speak in language, this and that. And when I started, my dear brothers and sisters, this is the honest truth. When God said, you are called, when God gave me the vision and everything, and and and, and, and I, I was going to preach the gospel, all the people that was helping me with me then, they were not, nobody could speak Dutch. None of them could speak Dutch. Even me. Hey, hey. My Dutch was, eh? oh my God, let me say the best. Opposite of the best. Hallelujah. But I, but I heard God. God said, go. Hmm? Go. Just, amen. I would, you see, God will, God will not give you everything that you need at once. Amen. You know why? Because it's already in you. If you are waiting for God to come and give you again, amen, you will miss it. It's already in you. you. He will not even give you all the information. The one that he has given to you, you must take it and move. And don't look at the limitation. Oh, you know, we, this uh, because, uh, this uh, thing that uh, people re are really easy to give things up and comfortable. Yeah, this one did this. I don't have that. I cannot do this. And that is why I'm here. A lot of excuses. That's the easy way out. A person that is called to be great and want to be great must push through every hindrance and blockage with the spirit of encouragement and strong, strong and be courageous. Amen. 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 En voordat, voordat de apostel predikt, 
te, uh, uh, kon, ze de taal, uh, kon ze de taal, kon ze de taal niet goed. Uh, toen God haar geroepen had, uh, toen ze begon, had ze niemand om haar heen die echt die goed Nederlands kon. En, en de apostel die zelf kon ook niet goed Nederlands. Maar God had tegen haar ge, uh, gezegd van ga, ga. Kijk, weet je, God geeft je niet alles te, gelijk, maar, maar weet dat het wel in jou is. Uh, hij gaat je niet alle informatie geven, hij gaat je niet alles tegelijkertijd geven, maar weet als God je heeft geroepen en hij heeft tegen jou gezegd ga, dan zal hij je, uh, uh, ondertussen zal hij je toerusten. Um, hij heeft gezegd ga voort, dan moet je voortgaan. Um, veel mensen die zeggen ik heb dit niet, ik heb dat niet, uh, die heeft dat gezegd, alleen maar excuses. Nee, als, als, als leider zijn, als je grote bestemming hebt, moet je voortduwen, sterk en moedig zijn. Amen. Halleluja. Amen. Yes. Is being courageous. Being courageous. The Bible said that God said, be strong, be strong, be strong. And be courageous. Go for it. No matter how it looks like. I am there with you. Amen. I am pushing. And you see people, if you think that because God said I'm pushing with you and I'm with you, then everything will go smooth. Then, <laughs> ah, Jesus. Hallelujah. No, it is, when God says he's with you, he's, he's going to train you. It's going to make you go through things so you have experience. Not just that you are preaching, but you also now go through experience that you have gathered the experience that you can talk about your experience as testimony when you get through that place. Amen. So when God said I'm with you, that means he's, going, he's saying to you, there are going to be challenges. There are going to be battles, but I'm fighting for you. Make sure you don't uh, get, give up. Stand with me. Stand. I'm standing with you. Oh, heaven, every, the Holy Spirit is with you. You just move with the vision that I've given to you. Amen. Amen. En als God heeft gesproken en hij zegt, en hij zegt hij is met jou, maar dat betekent niet dat het makkelijk zal zijn. Um, hij gaat je trainen. Je gaat door, je gaat door uitdagingen en, en strijd ingaan, maar dat is om ervaring op te doen, zodat je ook een getuigenis bent voor anderen. Uh, 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 maar de, je moet niet opgeven, je kan niet opgeven. God heeft je gezegd, ga voort. Hij is met jou en hij zal je behouden brengen naar je plaats van bestemming. Ga met de visioen die God je heeft gegeven. Wees sterk en moedig. Amen. Amen. Um, de woord makkelijk is niet biblica. Halleluja. Als God heeft je geroepen, betekent niet dat je zal niet dingen meemaken. Dat je zal niet in gevecht komen of gewoon strijd hebben, zeg maar. Dat je geen strijd zal hebben. Because God has called you, actually, that's when there is much battles. Halleluja. Amen. People, people will discourage the person. Jesus Christ. Halleluja. Amen. When I just, uh, when God do ministry, what do I just started? Even the person that was training me there said to me, eh, don't, don't take away your Facebook. People that say, who told you you are called? When I put apostle, when God could say that I was apostle, yes, before I was ordained by apostle, Suleiman as an apostle, I already changed my Facebook. People were sending me messages, people that were already ahead in the, in the ministry. Who told you you are apostle? My dear, I block all of them. Yeah. I blocked them. I didn't have, I didn't need to explain nothing. You, you didn't call me. I'm not in your ministry. I don't need to explain. Yeah. Who said you are apostle? You are just a young woman that just entered, just got born again. And now you change your title for others. But I know who told me that I am apostle. I know that God has called me. Amen. It was not long ago before my Papa Apostle Suleiman ordained me for something God already told me years ago. Amen. You need to believe that you are called. You need to be courageous. Even when battles come, even when discouragement come, be strong and be courageous. Amen. Amen. En juist omdat God je geroepen heeft, dan zal er veel strijd zijn. Toen God om je het was gestart, toen uh, apostel God om je startte, uh, uh, ze weet God had, had haar geroepen. Maar zelf de, de persoon die haar trainde toen de tijd, die zei tegen haar, uh, um, wie heeft je gezegd, wie heeft je gezegd dat je geroepen werd. Uh, en toen ze de, ap, uh, de titel apostel kreeg, dat God aan haar heeft gegeven zelf, voordat apostel Suleman haar had bevestigd, uh, kreeg ze allerlei, kreeg ze mensen over haar heen. Mensen die zeiden, oh, wie, hoe, hoe durf je te zeggen dat je apostel uh, bent? Wie heeft gezegd dat je apostel ben. Maar ze heeft ze allemaal geblokkeerd omdat ze wist dat God haar geroepen had. En daarom je moet geloven dat God je geroepen heeft. Uh, uh, en dan maakt het je niet uit wat voor strijd of uitdagingen op je pad komen. Kom, weet dat God je geroepen heeft en wees sterk en moedig. 
Amen. Amen. Yes, the people that was judging me, saying all things, and all this, this thing, now, some of them, oh, I knew that you were called by God. I knew that you were, you are a child of God. You were always on fire, but I remember them. Hallelujah. Be strong and be courageous. Be strong and be courageous. Amen. Be strong and be courageous. Hallelujah. Amen. You see, okay. even now, I don't mind, amen, by the grace of God, anything that comes my way, if, 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 <laughs> you see, anything that comes my way, I really don't mind anymore because I know I have a God, amen? This one say, and that one do, this one want to leave, this one want to that and that, whatever, amen? Yes, it's not out of pride. It's just about, out of security and conviction and a strong conviction that God is with me. Amen? So I don't mind what other, what mad people would do. The Bible says one with God is, uh, God, one with God is majority. Amen? You are not alone. As long as you put, make up your mind to carry that, to follow the calling, that you, the process you are willing to to to, to uh, uh, sacrifice and follow that process, your ministry, your destiny must surely be fulfilled. I want to tell every one of you: be encouraged. Fear not. Fear not. Amen. One more scripture: Second Samuel. Amen. Second Samuel. Um, 10 verse 12, 10 verse 11 and 12. The Bible said, 11, then he said, if the Syrian are too strong for me, then you shall help me. But if the people of Ammon are too strong for you, then I will come and help you. And 12, be of good courage and let us be strong for our people, for the city of our God. And may the Lord do what is good in his sight. Amen. You have to be strong for the people that God is going to bring your way to, to pastor or to preach to or to care for in the future. Amen. Be strong. And anytime a battle come, because it's God that fights it, he will always bring people. He will always bring helpers. He will always bring people that help you or help you fix that thing. God will always fix it. He will always fix it. Amen. Whether it's financial troubles, whether it's marital troubles, whether it's whatever, God is always going to fix it. He's a fixer. You are not alone. The moment you decide to accept the calling of God, he has already made a covenant from the beginning. He said, I will never leave or forsake you. Fear not. Amen. Fear not. The Bible said that uh, where God has not given us the spirit of fear, but the spirit of love, sound mind. Amen. And God wants us to be courageous. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. En daarom, je moet, je moet sterk zijn, je moet sterk zijn voor de mensen die God op jouw pad gaat brengen. Om ze te, om ze te begeleiden, om ze op te voeden, om ze te bevrijden. Uh, een strijd gaat komen, maar als er strijd komt, daar zal er ook help, hulp zijn. God gaat helpers op je pad brengen. En hij zal altijd, elke situatie waar je in zit, hij zal het altijd voor je oplossen. Je bent niet alleen. Zodra je een roeping hebt geaccepteerd, God is met jou. Het woord zegt ook dat hij je niet zal verlaten. Hij heeft ons geen geest gegeven van angst, maar van liefde, kracht en bezonnenheid. En we moeten krachtig zijn en moedig zijn om onze bestemming te bereiken. Amen. Halleluja. Amen. Halleluja. You see why the altars of our foundations are fighting, household powers are fighting, is because you refuse to bow down. You refuse to bow down, you refuse to accept their own calling, you refuse to do as they want us to do, that's why they are fighting. Amen. And if you are still a a leader that is still saying, oh, I'm tired. When are they going to stop? They are only going to stop when you surrender and become their slave. As long as you refuse to surrender, you follow the path of God and choose for the purpose, they will fight. And you have God. Jesus is with you. He's the one that fights the battle. And he never loses any battle. Amen? 
Yes. Mm. Amen. En daarom die, die altaren, die huishoudelijke machten, die strijden, die blijven constant tegen je strijden, omdat je weigert 